What's up? I'm Hermer26. I'm here to give you my 13th Q&A. If you'd like to send me a Q&A question, please don't hesitate to do so. Go on my inbox, send me a personal message, uh, as many questions you want, pro wrestling sports. You guys always do a good job with that. A couple things before I actually start the Q&A, though. Uh, number one, big, big thank you to True Slayer. My second plug from him. Couldn't be more grateful. I jumped like 38 subs. I was at 306. I'm at 344. I can't thank True Slayer enough. Um, honestly, so awesome. Thank you very much. But three three quick plugs, probably the most I've ever plugged in one video before. Uh, I want to plug the two people that, that uh, the two names I sent to him that he did not plug. Uh, first is Instant Class G1, very similar channel to mine. Um, <clears throat> Uh, great videos, you guys can check them out. Second, uh, Double Cross King, he makes 30 second videos, but in those 30 seconds you can tell that he is a very, very smart guy. I like his videos a lot, check him out as well. And the third guy, just made his first videos, his name is Chikara View. did a very, very good job. It looks like he's going to be the Chikara guy, or do Chikara mainly, and then some other indies, and maybe, uh, he doesn't seem to be doing any WWE or TNA, so. Just go check all three of them out, they should be, uh, in the description box. Alright, and basically I feel that after being plugged by someone like True Slayer, a good way of doing a video first is a Q&A. Talk about all what the channel is all about and talk about all types of wrestling. Perfect example of that is this first question from Y2AFW. Who do you think are the most over and underrated wrestlers in each promotion you watch? Alright, uh, WWE. Underrated Evan Bourne, overrated. A couple months ago I would have said Sheamus, but he's grown on me. Um, overrated. Probably Batista. TNA, underrated. Motor City Machine Guns, there are a lot. Um, Young Bucks, well, Generation Me. Um, gotta be up there. Overrated TNA. I don't know. Maybe Abyss. You look, especially after that fiasco last night. Yeah, probably I'd, I'd probably have to go with Abyss. I mean, Consequences Creed has kind of been sh taken down from any, any role of prominence, so. There's that. Um, ROH, underrated. We gotta say Kenny Omega, or Kenny King, one of the two. And overrated. <sighs> overrated. I gotta say, right, Titus here. Only because, I mean, he's good, but he doesn't. isn't in the upper echelon yet. But he is getting better, I, I, I gotta admit. And another guy who's gotta be up there has to be, um, what's his name? Uh, Jimmy Rave. I, I, he's good at getting heel heat, but that's 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 about it, in my estimation. Um, all right, PWG, Scott Lost, underrated, overrated. Charles Mercury, Chikara, underrated. Ultramantis Black by far. Um, overrated. I don't know. Overrated. I can't think of anyone. No one comes to mind. Maybe Vin Gerard. Um. All right, Lucha. I mean, Mystico's underrated only because he's not not in WWE yet for whatever reason. But he's the top star in Mexico. I really like him. Another one has to be maybe Averno. I really like Averno. Um, overrated in Lucha. Low Psycho Circus. I don't like them at all. All right. Um. All right, Japan. All right, New Japan. Underrated. Oroki Goto. Overrated. Some people aren't gonna like this. But I'm gonna say Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, he's great, but he's not the future. A lot of people think he is. Noah, underrated. Katsuhiko Nakajima, overrated. D Takeshi Rikio. Um, Dragon Gate and Dragon Gate USA, for that matter, underrated. I'm going to say Yamato, overrated. Genki Horiguchi. Is that it? Did I cover every promotion? Well, all J okay, All Japan, underrated. Kai and Kaz Hayashi, um, Overrated, I'm gonna say, uh, really can't think of anybody. Really can't. I mean, I, I don't watch enough All Japan to really think of somebody that I just hate and overrated. Honestly, I mean, that's probably the company that I mentioned of all of these that I watched the least. Or CML and AAA. Alright, uh, next question from Magic, that just took a while. Uh, next question from Mega Dark Angel 13. Which of the following matches would you watch if you had to choose one? Shawn Michaels versus John Morrison, Brian Danielson versus John Morrison versus AJ Styles, or Mitsuharu Masao versus Shawn Michaels? No doubt, Masao versus Michaels. This is, this is probably a lot of people's ultimate dream match. I mean, it's mine um, because these are two of the best in ring performers of all time, if not the two best. Um, just uh, the best of Japan in the 90s versus 
some of the best in Japan, the U.S. in the 90s, and just these two could perform and put, could put on five star matches past their prime, which is just amazing in all aspects of life. And imagine if they ever did face how awesome it would be at any point during their career. Question from Instant Classics G1. Do you think the ROH World title and ROH Tag Team title need a new look? It seems too plain, but on the other hand, it links the titles to the original winner, which brings more prestige. I think that's the absolute exact reason why the titles haven't changed hands, or they haven't gotten a new design yet. The exact reason. But actually, the ROH Tag Team titles originally were trophies, so it's not the first title, but it's the first strap title that they had was the uh, ROH Tag Team titles. But anyway, um... They probably don't need a look. I mean, the, the TV title, if you can see pictures of it, it does have a recent look. So, I mean, I think that's enough. But the, these titles don't really need a new look. I mean, they're not terrible, but they're not. I mean, a title that really doesn't draw me to anything. I mean, it's just, it's just a, a, an emblem of who the belt holder is in your company. If you really didn't mention, that, but I'm glad they do have physical belts. But if they didn't, it really wouldn't hurt it all that much, honestly. But so, but. They don't need a new look for that exact reason. I mean, they sh they need to put more attention on other things, which they do. First from Y2 AFW, again from Y2 AFW, who from other indie promotions, PWG, Chikara, etc., would you like to see ROH sign? Um, the Cutler Brothers are the top of that list. Brandon Gatson, Ultramantis Black, because he's he's so underrated in Chikara. Actually, I think I think the entire stable of no Neo Solar Temple could could work in Ring of Honor. Because I think Glitters has kind of been stale in Ring of Honor for a little while now. This should make him unstale. Just put him, put him in uh, with uh, Ultimate is Black. Um, who else? The colony is a little too wacky for Ring of Honor, I think. I don't think it necessarily work, even though they are a good group. Assyrian Portal should definitely be in Ring of Honor by now. Uh, but to sign an ROH contract, you need to pretty much be contracted to work for every show and they control which companies you work for. So I don't think any really Chikara guys, because their agreement with, um, what do we call it, um, Dranga USA, can really any Chikara guys right now can really be signed to a Ring of Honor contract. But otherwise, Mike Quack and Bush definitely be there. Oh, I, I can't forget Eric Cannon either. But uh, maybe a different in a in a different talent. I definitely think that um, what's his name, Benjamin Saylor, and Pete and uh, what's his technical partner's name, Nate Bash from First Wrestling. Or who are the Midwest Ground and Air would be good, um, and the North Star Express, uh, Darren Corbin, Ryan Curtis would be, be good. All right. Um, again, Y two FW. Do you think Drew Brees is just as good as Peyton Manning and Tom Brady? Uh, I do. I think his. I think he has with the Super Bowl when he is developing into such a great quarterback. And these are by far the three best quarterbacks in the league. I can think of. Is there anybody better? I mean, Eli Manning's all right. Tom McNabb, not really. I wish. The Redskins had one, but they don't. No, I really can't think. These are probably the three best quarterbacks by far in the league. Um, but I think it's Peyton Manning, then when he's healthy, Tom Brady, then Drew Brees. But when he, Tom, Bra Tom Brady isn't healthy, then Drew Brees is close to Peyton Manning. But I still think Peyton Manning, when he is on, is the most dominant player in the NFL. Boy, at least a quarterback. Chris Johnson and Adrian, Adrian Peterson might have something to say about that, along with Larry Fitzgerald and uh, a couple defensive players. First semester wrestling Inc. I think the TNA roster is very oversaturated. Do you agree? Also, what would you, who do you think TNA should release? TNA should release everybody who's just dead weight. And they have a lot of it. Um, Consequences Creed's at the top of that list. Magnus, Rob Terry, because on their own without the British Invasion, they are pointless. Um, and the the roster is very oversaturated. I, I gotta admit that, but. Because it's oversaturated, a way of un unsaturating it would be to release guys, and that, that's the best way of doing that. So, more people to release would be. I mean, Hogan draws. You got to keep him whether whether you like it or not. Flair draws. Abyss. I think he's ran his course. Unless you do a new Chris Parks character, I think he should be gone. Um, who else do I don't like? Beer money's fine. This is just for personal wealth, but I think that Desmond should go. I mean, I love having him in TNA, Nigel McGuinness, but unless he can have a dominant role than the one he has right now, same with Motor City Machine Gun, same with Young Bucks, they should be elsewhere, honestly. But anyway, all right, thanks, you, thanks for watching this, you guys. I'll see you guys later.